James, when was the last time you had some new clothes? Uh, I don't know. Does it matter? Yeah, of course it matters. You're a grown boy. I bet nothing much fits you anymore. You'll need new underwear for Whoa, a start. What? How would you know that? Well, when I come into your room in the morning to collect your dirty clothes and you're there in all your morning glory... Oh, that's... I'm just saying. <laughs> you shouldn't have to squeeze yourself into those smalls we got you in year seven. You're James, right? We have class together, don't we? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, a few actually. Most of mine are actually with you. All of them, you know. This is my mum, Deborah. Hello, Hi. are you James' girlfriend? Mum, I'm pretty sure you've got things to do. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you're not my girlfriend. Not that I would be against that. It's just, I just, I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> don't worry. Look, this might sound random, but do you want to help me pick a birthday present for my dad? Sure, sure. I'll think just like a dad. In fact, I know exactly what you should get him. A broken drum. And why would I get him a broken drum? Because he can't beat it. <laughs> because it's broken. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a dad joke. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, before we get going, I'm just going to pop in here for a second, okay? Sure. James! Hello. Michelle? How are you doing? I'm great, but what are you doing here? I'm just shopping with... Uh, my mum. We're getting a present for her dad. My dad. Wait. Oh, that's so sweet. You're helping your mum like that. Yeah. Listen, did you perhaps want to get a coffee later? Oh, I... I, I can't, but I'm, I'm free now for an hour. Right, right now? Yeah? We'll go right now. Okay. I'll tell my mum. Cool. Courtney, uh, are you here? Yeah, I'm just in the change room. Oh, it's cool. I'll, I'll wait. You can talk to me. I'll be out in a sec. Uh, well, that was the thing I was going to talk to you about, actually. I was probably going to... Uh, so what did you uh, want to talk about? <sighs> So, I'm going to go get changed. Hey, come here for a second. You know you're kind of cute when you're nervous. Now what were you trying to say? I have to go? To the toilet? Don't be too long. <laughs> there you are. Is your mum okay with this? Yep, she won't even know I'm gone. So. Excellent. Well, how about that coffee then, hey? Place across from here does excellent lattes. No, uh, uh, I was more in the mood for somewhere with food and, you know, further away. Don't be silly, they do excellent pastries too. Come on. <laughs> Did we have to sit so close to the window? Well, yes, it's a beautiful day outside. Besides, we might see someone we know. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. What? Uh, nothing. Uh, did you um, want to talk about something? Uh, well, um... We've, we've known each other forever. We could talk about anything. You know, um, like what I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to the market and then uh, there's this really cute little store. And I'm in love with you. Uh, oh, oh. Ah, it's your mum. I hope everything's okay. No, 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 sorry, uh, that's a problem, I really have to go fix it. But you haven't even answered your phone. James, hi, it's Mum. 
Mom, just stay right there. I'll be there in a second. Okay, don't leave the store. Don't go anywhere. I'm sorry. I have to go. I'll fix this. I'll be right back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are. I thought you'd left me. What took you so long? Well, I got distracted. In the toilet. Yes. Yes, there was uh, some graffiti in there, and it was actually uh, quite poetic. I see. Uh, shall we keep moving? Uh, actually, I was thinking I'd get going. Ah, but it's been so nice spending time with you. Just the two of us? It has? Oh, yeah. It really, really has. But I got this thing, and I really should get back to it. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, Michelle's here. No, she isn't. But... Michelle! Michelle! Hey! Michelle, hi! Hey, Courtney, how are you? Oh, good. Oh, James, you helped your mum already? That was mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. Yep, she was all good now. What was wrong? Oh, oh she, uh, she, she, she just had plastic surgery. But I just saw her ten minutes ago. It was express uh, surgery, you know, drive through kind of thing. It was uh, actually it was so quick. It was uh, it was, it was melting. Uh, is she okay now? Yeah, she's all stuck back together now. Uh, that's good, I think. Um, Michelle, what are you doing here today? <laughs> oh, I was just having a coffee with James, actually. <laughs> oh, just then. Well, oh, in ten now. Minutes. Well, I mean, the cop's not well, ready yet. Well, it actually came while you're out helping your mum. Oh, the coffee came. You left the coffee unattended just by itself. It's just sitting there, coffee's alone, not even reading magazines. So, Please, like... Courtney, what are you up to today? Well, I'm buying a birthday present for my dad, and James is happy. Oh, yelping! What? Oh, sorry, just an old badminton injury. You played badminton? Badly. Minton. Anyway, it just flares up every now and then, so there's a doubt. But seriously, he's helping me pick a present for my dad. <laughs> Hardly helping. You know, I just suggested a broken drum. You know, ha ha ha. Copy time. The copy's all alone. So, you what you're trying to tell me is, is that you've been lying to me all morning and ditching me to spend time with no, Courtney? No, 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 no. I haven't been ditching you. I was merely kind of juggling, juggling, juggling two moments simultaneously. I think it's perfect time to tell you that I went to clown school and actually mastered the art of juggling. When you told did me that juggle? you loved me, did you actually mean it? You told her that you love her. In love, in love with, with the idea, the idea of, of her. You know, like a smart young lady with the girl power. You're in love with her, but you've been leading me on all morning. Shoot. Why were you being so nice to me? Yeah, because that's what people do. I was. Well, just... I clearly got the wrong idea. You're a dick, James. Michelle, I didn't know you were going to be here, and I was just helping Courtney really quickly, and I only thought it And so you decided to get the best of both worlds? The way things turned out, I hardly say it's the best of both worlds. The worst part is, is you kept lying to me. Why? <sighs> you probably don't uh, feel like coffee anymore, do you? Courtney is right. You are a dick, James. <laughs> the surgery looks fantastic. <laughs> I'll keep this brief. <laughs> like underpants. Get it? <laughs> oh. So what's this about my surgery? Um... <laughs>